in the year 2075, Earth was a beacon of technological advancement and hope. The once distant dream of interstellar travel had become a reality, thanks to decades of innovation and exploration. Amidst this backdrop, a group of young astronauts stood on the cusp of making history. They were the crew of the Starship Odyssey, the first vessel designed for a long term mission to explore a distant star system. Captain Maya Patel, a 26 year old prodigy with a calm demeanor and an iron will, led the crew. She had spent her life training for this moment, driven by a passion for the stars inherited from her astronomer parents. Alongside her were five other extraordinary individuals Lieutenant Ethan Walker, the ship's pilot. At 24, he was already considered a genius in astronavigation. His quick reflexes and sharp mind made him the perfect choice to steer the Odyssey through the vastness of space. Dr. Isabella Martinez, the mission's chief scientist. At 25, her groundbreaking work in astrobiology had already earned her numerous accolades. Her curiosity and intellect were essential for the mission's scientific goals. Sergeant Liam O'Connor, the head of security. At 27, he was the oldest of the crew, with a military background and a heart of gold. His job was to ensure the safety of the crew in any situation. Engineer Aiko Tanaka, the youngest member at 22. Aiko's exceptional skills in robotics and mechanical engineering were crucial for maintaining the ship's systems and handling any technical challenges that might arise. Medical Officer Anaya Singh, age 23. With her extensive knowledge of medicine and her calm bedside manner, she was responsible for the health and well-being of the crew during their journey. The Starship Odyssey stood tall on the launch pad, its sleek frame glistening under the sun. Inside the control room, final checks were being conducted, and the tension was palpable. Families and friends of the crew members had gathered to bid farewell, their faces a mixture of pride and worry. Captain Patel took a deep breath as she addressed her crew through the intercom. We are about to embark on a journey that humanity has dreamed of for centuries. Each of you is here because you are the best at what you do. Trust in your skills, trust in each other, and remember why we are doing this. For the future of humankind. The countdown began, and with each passing second, the anticipation grew. As the engines roared to life, the ground shook, and the Odyssey began its ascent into the heavens. The crew members felt the immense pressure as the ship broke free from Earth's atmosphere, and then, suddenly, they were in the serene blackness of space. The view from the cockpit was breathtaking. The blue marble of Earth slowly receded, giving way to the vast, star studded expanse. For a moment, the crew was silent, awestruck by the beauty and enormity of the universe around them. Engage the warp drive, Captain Patel commanded. Lieutenant Walker's fingers danced over the controls, and with a surge of power, the Odyssey leapt forward, stars streaking past as they entered faster than light travel. Their destination was Proxima Centauri, the closest star to Earth, accompanied by its exoplanet, Proxima b. The journey would take several months, and the crew settled into their routines. Days were filled with scientific experiments, ship maintenance, and exercise. Evenings were spent in camaraderie, sharing stories, playing games, and dreaming about what they might discover. As they approached the halfway point of their journey, the Odyssey encountered an unexpected challenge. A field of micrometeoroids, too small to be detected by their sensors, lay directly in their path. The ship shuddered as the tiny particles struck and alarms blared. Brace for impact! Sergeant O'Connor shouted as the crew hurried to their stations. Engineer Tanaka worked frantically to reinforce the ship's shields while Dr. Martinez and Officer Singh prepared the medical bay for potential injuries. Under Captain Patel's calm leadership, the crew navigated the crisis with precision. They emerged on the other side of the micrometeoroid field with minimal damage and no injuries. The experience, though harrowing, strengthened their bond and reaffirmed their resilience. Months later, the Odyssey finally arrived at Proxima Centauri. The crew gathered at the observation deck, gazing at the red dwarf star and its orbiting planet. It was a sight that had only been imagined in dreams and simulations until now. 
Captain Patel's voice was filled with emotion as she spoke, we are the first of our kind to set eyes on this new world. Let this moment remind us of the endless possibilities that lie ahead. We are explorers and pioneers, and together, we will unlock the mysteries of the universe. The astronauts of the Starship Odyssey had left Earth as individuals, but they had become a family among the stars. Their journey was just beginning, and with each discovery, they brought humanity one step closer to understanding the cosmos and its infinite wonders.